I've had a lot of people ask me how I make Melee cinematics like this. So this is my guide to show you guys my workflow, all the resources you'll need, and how to set everything up. My workflow actually varies depending on if I have the slippy files for the project I'm working on. If I have them, I will use the slippy launcher to view the replays. If I don't have them, I will stage the shots in Dolphin, and then I'll use OBS to screen record whether I'm working in Dolphin or Slippy. Links to all the resources will be in the description, but just as a general overview, You'll need Slippy to view your replays. You'll need Dolphin to stage your shots if you need to do that. Uh, I use this version, but you could probably use a bunch of versions of Dolphin. Uh, I record my stuff with OBS. You'll also need developer mode, which I'll show you how to get in both Slippy and Dolphin. These are all the controls for developer mode. And then you'll need Gecko codes, which I've gathered all together, which will be very, very helpful. In order to set up developer mode, you'll need to go to settings, playback, configure Dolphin, right click on your Melee ISO, go to properties, Gecko codes, and then click here, enable developer mode. And you only have to do this once for Slippy. And if we load into an actual game, you'll see that all the developer mode controls work. Uh, and you have full control of the camera and everything. You can also do things like green screens and advance frame by frame. And for Dolphin, there's not actually a gecko code for dev mode. So you have to load the game, hold B to go back to the menu, go to tournament melee, turn the language to US, and then go to DB level here and go all the way over to develop mode. Unlike Slippy, this is something you have to do every time you open the game. And all of your developer mode controls will work in Dolphin. To install Gecko codes, all you have to do is go to settings, playback, configure Dolphin, right click your melee ISO, go to properties, Gecko codes, and then click show defaults. It'll open up two notepads. Uh, you can go ahead and close this one and keep the one open that says Gale 01 R2. And I'll have a link in the description for all the gecko codes I use. And then you can come back here, grab your gecko codes, bring them over into the notepad, and paste them right there. And then save. And then if you refresh, you'll have your new gecko codes there. You can enable or disable them. These two right here you do not need for Dolphin, but they're very important for recording cinematics in Slippy. I like to enhance the internal resolution of my Dolphin when I record cinematics. So to do that, you can go to Settings, Playback, Configure Dolphin. And then you can go to Graphics, Enhancements, and then right here, you should be, I'm guessing it's already at, at 1x, but um, I like to up, do mine something like 6x or whatever works for you. I also use Reshade to add depth of field and other effects to my cinematics, but I haven't gotten the newest version to work, so I actually use an older version, and I'll have links to both in the description. After you download and run the Reshade installer, you can click here to find your game. You'll have to browse to find your Dolphin. And if you want to know where your Slippy Launcher Dolphin version is located, you can go to Settings, Playback, and Open Containing Folder, and this will show you exactly where your Dolphin version is located. So I came back, hit Browse, and located my Slippy Dolphin. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do it now, but I'm, you install it there. I'm just going to use this as an example. For API, you'll want to use OpenGL or whatever matches your backend for Dolphin. If you want to find that, just open your Dolphin, go to Graphics, and then right there in back end is what version you're using and then it'll bring up effect packages you can use whatever you want but the one that I use is Otis FX that's what gives me the depth of field and other stuff and then your effects will install and you will hit OK now to get going in reshade you'll just run a replay a prompt will show up at the top of the screen that will tell you to hit the home key when you hit that your reshade menu comes up you will want to come over to the open GL tab at the top here and click on the option with the most vertices that's something you'll have to do every time in slippy and in dolphin and now you'll need to set up your depth map to make sure that your depth of field is working. So go back over to the home tab, enable display depth, and then come down to make sure both these options are checked. And then you want to mess around with these until I'm going to use Fox as a reference, his outline, uh, until it matches up exactly. And once you have that lined up, your numbers might be different than mine. They might be the same. You want to come up here and click edit definitions and then copy all of the numbers that worked for you into here and if you need to know which ones are which you can just hover over them to find out all right now I have all those copied you want to come up here disable display depth and then enable cinematic DOF and then your depth of field should be working the manual focus plane slider is what you're gonna be using the most with this effect it just controls where your focus is at in the game and to get that shallow depth of field that that blurry background you want to use a higher focal length and a low aperture number the manual focus plane numbers actually vary from stage to stage uh, so just keep that in mind as you're going from different replays. These are my OBS settings. You might have to change them based on your build, but this is just what works for me. When you're recording, after you set up Reshade, make sure you click back into your OBS window. Otherwise, the recording can freeze. That's it for my guide. Make sure to check out Fizzy on Patreon because none of this would have been possible without him. Also, shout outs to Blockade and Q for their help on Reshade and Gecko Codes. And if you have any questions, I'll have a link to my Discord in the description where you can ask me anything.